Hello again, uh, it's six days till my project starts and uh, I'm not going to be doing too much painting today because I'm getting ready for a house guest um, but I just thought I'd go through uh, some of the equipment I'm going to be using. I'm always interested in what other people are painting with, um, what sort of tools they have in their kit box. Um, so I just thought I'd go through uh, my setup. Uh, so at the moment I'm painting with uh, army painter brushes which uh, I'm getting quite a lot of um, enjoyment from. Um, I've got the regiment brush, uh, got a small dry brush, and I've got the insane detail brush. Uh, mainly just using that one for uh, facial details, stuff that's up close. Um, and then just because I was on the site and I was in a bad mood, I thought I would treat myself, I bought myself uh, a Kalinsky uh, brush as well, uh, uh, which is made from sable. Um, so they get some foxes and they shave them down, and then they make you a brush out of that. So that's that's nice. Then they release the foxes back into the wilderness, and the foxes are fine. You don't need to worry about the foxes. Um, so those are my brushes. Um, I've got some old ones nicking around for uh, stirring paint and whatnot. Um, but that's my basic setup. In terms of other stuff. Um, sculpting tool for green stuff. I never do any sculpting with it because I'm rubbish at it, but I've got it just in case. Um, I've got a set of files um, for um, cleaning up mold lines, that sort of stuff. Always good to have them around. Clippers, uh, craft knife, uh, that would seem better days. Um, Pitch and tweezers. Uh, it's very good for applying static grass. And then the static grass I'm using for my Tomb Kings. Um, yesterday I thought it was from Javis, but actually it's from Gale Force 9. Um, uh, it's the arid static grass. So that's what I'm using on the basis. Uh, in terms of glue, um, I've got the normal sort of selection for the hobby. Um, got the Games Workshop super glue, uh, and then for um, plastic to plastic, um, I've got the Contactor Professional uh, with the applicator. I've also got a slightly bigger one um, that comes with a brush for I'm doing slightly bigger jobs, and then just uh, a big old tub of PVA. Uh, for doing scatter. So I'm still painting with the old uh, Games Workshop um, paint line and actually they were sitting around in my attic doing nothing for about five years um, then when I came to it I just diluted them down with water gave them a quick stir and they were good as new. So uh, most of my paints are sort of the old-fashioned names so dark green ink, snot green, all the old familiar names um, where I've run out, I've got some of the newer paints. And so for example, going through a lot of bone colours, so I ended up having to buy uh, one of the new um, layer paints. Um, and then, in terms of other things I've got around, I've got myself a very cheap palette. I think it's from Tesco. Water bowl, that used to have a delicious dessert in it, which I scoffed. And then the all-important radio for the listening of classic rock. Um, so that's my paint setup. Just really just practicing with the camera. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Um, and thanks a lot to those people making videos. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.